Okay, this this is the book I have. Okay, oh, reading this and listening to this is not a substitute for real learning using textbooks, um, methods, uh, and so on and so forth. It's something more than this. You sh you just you just can't learn a language like this. I can tell you that, but that can help you have some ready-made sentences when you need it so it can help you out in a way uh, it's good to for the pronunciation okay this can work both ways because there is an English and a, a Italian this is an American book mastering Italian vocabulary a thematic approach this very useful bilingual phrasebook groups Italian words and their English translation strictly according to themes and relationships. Dozens of categories are presented, including polit politics, politics, sorry, uh, military terms, business terms, communication terms, medical terms, scientific terms, use household terms, um, and more. Uh, this book makes a fine classroom supplement, a handy phrase book for travelers, uh, and a convenient translation aid for specialists and technicians who must get information from journals and other publication with a written, which is written in Italian. Okay. La persona, a person, chiamarsi to be named, to be called. Come ti chiami? Mi chiamo Raffaele Gallo. What's your name? My name is Raffaele Gallo. Il cognome, surname. Il nome, name. L'indirizzo, the address. Mi dai il tuo indirizzo? Indirizzo. Will you give, will you give me your address? Il numero di telefono. Telephone number. Mi dai il tuo numero di telefono. Will you give me your telephone number? Okay. If you want to read it as well, abitare, live, reside. Dove abiti? Abito a Roma. In via Giulia 5. Where do you live? I live in Rome, via Giulia 5. Di dove sei? Where are you from? Nato a. Sono nato in Sicilia, ma vivo a Milano da 15 anni. I was born in Sicily, but I have been living in Milan for 15 years. Quanti anni hai? How old are you? Ho 18 anni, dunque sono già maggiorenne. I'm 18, I'm 18, so I'm of age now. L'età? Age. Ho lasciato l'età. Sì, ho l'età. Ho lasciato l'Italia all'età di 15 anni. I left Italy at the age of 15. La carta d'identità, identification cards. La carta d'identità è scaduta. The ID has expired. Scadere, expire, expire. Il passaporto, the passport or the passport. Hai il nuovo passaporto. Do you already have the new passport? It's very important you do not pronounce the H. It's always silent, unvoiced in Italian. La patente, driver's license or driving license. Il sesso, sex, sesso mas di sesso maschile, femminile, di sesso, oh, sì. di sesso femminile, femminile, di sesso maschile, male, celibe, nubile. Single, unmarried. Pay attention, in Italian when you say single, so not single, it means you don't have a partner, okay? Mario Celibe. Mario is single. So actually, um, when Italian use single, it, it means that they have no steady relationship. Mario è nubile. Maria è nubile. Mar Maria is single. So think of like I'm married. Uh, non sposato, non sono sposato. Uh, many times we don't say 
I sono celibe, sono nuvole. That's not correct. In spoken language, it's very formal. Non sono sposato. Non sono sposato. We say, just saying, I'm not married. Or, I'm unmarried. I'm not married. Okay? We don't say, I'm single. Sono single. Uh, you can be... Uh, maybe you're not single, uh, but you're not married in Italian. Okay. Ha sposato. Married. Giovanna e Carlo sono sposati da 5 anni. It's very important. Da, not for. Giovanni e Carla and Carlo have been married for five years. Okay. Il mestiere, occupation, craft, job. Che mestiere uh, fa tuo padre? What does your father do? Ok. Um, cosa fa tuo padre? Che mestiere fa tuo padre? Che mestiere fa tuo padre is really heavy. Che fa tuo padre? Che lavoro fa? It's more common. Che mestiere fa tuo padre? La professione. Profession in general. Andrea di professione insegnante. Andrea is a teacher by profession. Uh, yes, not very common also this. You can say this, but it's not very common. Like in English, she's a teacher by profession. Maggiorenne, adult or adult of age, minorenne, underage. Minorenne and maggiorenne, they are also uh, nouns, so you say maggiorenni and minorenne. The residence and residence. L'individuo. Oh wow, I always make this. L'individuo. Individual, luogo di residenza, place of residence, luogo di nascita, place of birth, il documento, identity card. Un documento, per favore? Your identity card, please. O oh, papers in English. Personale, personal. Pay attention, uh, sometimes il personale uh, in Italian is the stuff, the crew the work that work somewhere um, il, uh, la cittadinanza citizenship Giuseppe la cittadinanza tedesca Giuseppe has German citizenship nazionalità nationality confessione eh, it's not very common confessione quella è la confessione più diffusa in Italia now there, we, we oftentimes say uh, that's too much too formal. It sounds like in English. In fact, confession, as a matter of fact, a confession of faith, religion. What is the most common religion in Italy? Okay. We say religion as well. Stato civile, marital status, coniugato, married. Okay, coniugato is also formal. And in a formal situation, you say sposato. Divorziato, divorced. Divorziare, to get a divorce. Si puoi divorziare anche in Italia, ma dura di più. You can get a divorce in Italy, but it just takes longer. Uh, dura di più, ci vuole più tempo. Dura di più. Uh, no, it doesn't sound... Uh, sounds like it lasts long. It lasts longer. What? The divorce or the process of getting a divorce? No. Puoi divorziare, puoi divorziare anche in Italia, ma ci vuole di più. Ci vuole più tempo. O oh, è più lungo. È più lungo. Sottinteso. Um, divorziare. Il divorzio. Divorce. Separato. Separated. Essendo separati da tre anni possiamo chiedere... Divorce. Since we've been separated for three years, we can't file for divorce. Okay, this is good Italian, essendo separati. Okay. The problem is, the problem is, sorry. Oh, God damn it. The problem is that this camera is out of focus. I just can't understand. Oh, okay. Separation. 
essendo poiché poiché siamo separati da tre anni già che siamo separati da tre anni ok essendo separati da tre anni ok we can also say siamo separati da tre anni possiamo chiedere il divorzio il vedovo la vedova widower widow Anna è vedova già da sette anni Anna has been a widow for seven years already il biglietto da visita visiting card puoi farmi vedere il biglietto da visita di quella persona simpatica can you show me this, char this charming person visiting card well, we don't often times use these things it's more common in America mi chiamo Giovanna, conosco Carlo da sette anni. Ok. Mi chiamo Carlo Giovanna e mia moglie da cinque anni. My name is Carlo Giovanna, has been my wife for five years. The human body, il corpo umano, la vita, oh god damn it, this it would be much better with pictures, I mean this kind of things goes, go with pictures, so I strongly recommend finding a um, something and you add the, the name use a pen, print something and add the name in Italian so there is a visual side. La vita oh, La vita means life or the waste here. Okay? So pay attention because speaking about parts sounds like we speak about the waste. No, la vita is here translates wife. Say wife, life. Il corpo, body, l'osso, bone. Quante ossa ti... Oh, pay attention. Ossi is more what you throw to dogs. But when you speak about skeleton, we use ossa. It's a remainder of the Latin uh, declinism. Uh, ossa ti sei rotto. Quante ossa ti sei rotto? How many bones did you break? Or in British English have you broken sono per il cane questi ossi you see I, I didn't say that I didn't read it because how, how are these bones for the dog you see the difference between ossa and ossi la pelle skin desidero una crema per la pelle I would like a skin cream capelli plural pay attention we distinguish about hair we have somewhere and the hair that is here to pet sometimes we ask Much to hair here and not much here. That's bad for men. Um, so these are called capelli. So hairy. If you speak about this, it's called capelluto or a hairy person. If you are speaking about uh, here, it's peloso. Pay attention, capelluto, peloso. Uh, mi tagli i capelli molto corti mi tagli i capelli molto corti per favore cut my hair very short please la testa head ok you can make visual for these things head ora prendiamo la testa a sinistra bah. now we move our head to the left mi gira la testa I, I um, literally my, my, my head is turning around it's turning it's spinning Uh, I feel I feel dizzy. La faccia. Okay, faccia sometimes sometimes much too informal. You should use viso o il volto. Viso volto faccia. Okay. So, faccia sometimes used for expression. You have a face, such a face, like you know what? You look strange. Hai una bella faccia abbronzata. Your face is nicely tanned. La fronte. Forehead or forehead. Fronte. La bocca. Mouth. 
Respiri, respiri con la bocca chiusa, per favore. Breathe with your mouth closed, please. Sentire. It means also here, but in this case, non sentite freddo. Don't you feel cold? Il collo. The neck. Si copre sempre fino al collo. She always cover, covers herself up to her neck. Il collo, not her neck. It's always use the neck. La gola. Throat, neck. Ok, la spalla. Spalla, shoulder. Metti il mucciale sulle spalle. Put a shawl around your shoulders. Petto. Chest, breast, bosom. Braccio. From this braccio comes the English embrace. You know, brace, braccio. Embrace. Abbracciare, hug. Anna tiene il bambino sulle braccia. Anna holds the baby in her arms. La mano, hand. Ha le mani calde. Hai le mani calde. You have warm hands. I use this and not this. This. Il dito, finger. Oh, the, your... You can use also for your toes. There's no difference in Italian between finger and toe. Porta gli anelli in tutte le dita. Porta gli anelli in tutte le dita. She wears rings on all of her fingers. La gamba. Leg. Daniele si è rotto una gamba. Daniele has a broken leg. Ginocchio. Knee. Piegare le ginocchia, bend one knees. Il piede, foot, preferisco stare in, stare in piedi. Literally stand on feet. I prefer to stand. Okay, just in Italian stand, stare, it doesn't mean to stand like... Okay, more like stay. So... Il cervello, brain. Il dente, tooth. Alberto deve togliersi un dente. Alberto has to have a tooth pulled. Togliere, ok. Take off, take away, remove. La lingua. They use the same word for language and tongue. You can, like in English, mother tongue, sometimes, to speak in tongues. Alberto, ok, this is before la lingua, tiri fuori la lingua e dica A, stick out your tongue and say A, cuore. Uh, the word cuore is the original, is, that's why in English you say core. Cuore is something that is in the middle of something, so the English word cuore stems from the Latin root cor cordis, also cordial. So heart, remember cuore. Heart, core, cuore, heart. Dopo cinque espressi, mi muovo gli espressi. Il mio cuore mi batteva come un matto. Well, come on, matto. It's not very common that. After five espressi, my heart was beating like mad. Yeah, it sounds like English. Mi batteva forte. In informal Italian, we say un sacco. A lot. Polmone, lung, pulmonary. Respirare. Respiratory, respirare, breathe. Respiri l'aria pulita. Respirare l'aria pulita fa bene per noi. Breathing clear air is good for the lung. Il respiro, breath. Pay attention, breath is the action, but it's not il respiro. This is called alito. Your breath stinks. Il tuo alito puzza. Alito, alito, or fiato, fiato, alito. The action, the breathing is respiro. Fegato, liver. Antonio si è rovinato il fegato con l'alcol. Anton has ruined his liver with alcohol. Stomach, stomach, okay. Stomach rarely means this, the belly. Usually when you have a... A beer belly, I don't have it, it I don't have it anymore. You see? Because I run. Um 
So actually stomach is the, the organ that we use to digest, it's here. It's like a, a sack, something. Uh, ho mangiato troppo dello stomaco pesante. I'm overridden and my stomach feels so full. Il muscolo. You see? This is a muscle. You see? Muscle. Bicipite. That's muscolo. Ok, I'm sorry. Uh, non posso più tendere i muscoli del collo. I can't tense my neck muscles anymore. You see? If you read English, this is C, muscle, you don't pronounce, but that helps you remember that in Italian is muscolo and non muscolo, muscle, you know, muscle, muscolo, muscolo. Actually, if you add an O before the L, you see the Italian word, if you read the way it's uh, spelled, muscolo, muscle. Capello, hair, a single, you know, hair. When you say, we want to speak about all the thing, you say capelli. Il viso, I said before, face. Abbronzato, tained, labbro. Lip. Lisa aveva le labbra blu da freddo. Lisa's lips were blue from cold. La palpebra. Eyelid. Hai spesso le palpebre grove? Do you often have swollen eyelids? Eyebrow. Sopraciglio. Gonfio, swollen, puffed up. Gonfiare. Swell, inflate. Guancia, cheek. Gli ha dato un bacio, gli ha dato un bacio sulla guancia. She gave him a kiss on the, che on the cheek. Mento, chin, pugno, okay, pugno can be this as the, the fact in itself, the fist, or punch, the action of actually boxing, punch, pugno, it's the same word, as I said before, Italian is more specific than English, Come, cosa tieni nel pugno, what are you holding in your fist? La schiena. Back. L'operario piegava la schiena sul carico. The word bent his back under the burden. Lanca. Hip. Torace. Upper body. Thorax. Okay, torace. Thorax actually is from Latin. Questo esercizio è utile per il torace robusto. Oh, the music is... Oh, what time is it? This exercise helps build a powerful upper body, colonna vertebrale, spine, this spine, spinal column. Il bambino di Anna è nato con un difetto alla colonna vertebrale. Anna's baby was born with a spinal defect. Il seno, okay, seno is only for women. If you're a man, if you have it, okay, that's a problem. Breast, bosom, ventre, belly, also tummy, abdomen, okay, you can say abdomen in Italian. Uh, questa verdura fa fare il ventre, okay, that's not very common. Mi gonfia, questa, questa verdura gonfia. This vegetable cause flatulence. Okay. It's not actually the same. You can have... Flatulence is the final stage of... Uh, being... Uh, have been gassy, so to speak. La pancia, belly, punch, or tummy. I don't know if mal di pancia. Do you have a stomachache again? Oh. Okay, and informally here in the south of center, many people say panza. If you hear panza, don't use it. It's not standard Italian, but it's pancia. Panzone, person who has a large belly. Sedere. Okay, sedere can be actually the action of sitting. Or most of the times, bottom, backside, 
Okay, I'll give you the very informal Italian way, but it's very common, it's called culo. And sometimes it means luck. With a big S, it means you are very lucky. That's not written here in here. It's good to know, because it's very common. Carlo potuto il sedere per terra. Per terra. Per terra. Carlino fell on his bottom. Il gomito. You know, elbow, l'unghia, fingernail. Luciano cerca le forbici per le unghie, forbici per le unghie, Lu Luciana. Luciana is looking for the nail scissors, scissors. Coscia, thigh, I have a big thighs, you know, very big, because I'm a runner, you know, my thighs are big. Thighs. This is a thigh. Uh, heel. Oh, heel. How do you show? Heel. This is a heel. Calcagna. Or tallone. It's more common to say tallone. Calcagna. That's why I'm doing this for because many times it's not really what people would say. Rene, kidney, to produce urine, you know. Anna ha un rene solo. Anna has only one kidney, la vena. What is vena? I don't... This thing, you see. This thing here. What is this thing? Okay, this is called vein. Il nervo, okay, nervi. For this work, okay, this is a, you need to have good nerves, okay, that's figuratively. Suffocare, suffocate, chuck. Mi manca respiro, and mi sento, I'm out of breath. Or you can see how oh, I can't get any air and I feel I'm suffocated. That's a long, let's, let's call it a day. Uh, if you like this, give me good feedback and we'll post more. I also, I've been, I recorded also this in Italian and this. And tell me which one you prefer. Thanks for watching anyway. Bye bye.